the heels of a shocking betrayal by Shinsuke Nakamura last week, the King of Strong Style is in action against the Royal Rumble match winner and the man who will meet Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, Kevin Owens, Nakamura, one-on-one -on -one here tonight on Raw. And the Intercontinental Championship, number one contender's eliminator kicks off. Four superstars have an opportunity. Tonight, two of them step foot inside the squared circle. Tommaso Ciampa, Tyler Bate, who will advance to Saturday night's main event on the 17th of February. We find out later tonight on Monday Night Raw. We are live in Greensville, South Carolina. And these men are set with a date with the Usos at WrestleMania for the World Tag Team Championships. But tonight, Damian Priest and Finn Balor look to build momentum towards the grandest stage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. Eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber, Jay and Jimmy Uso defeating the Street Profits, not only winning the Raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, but earning their number one contendership to face those two men, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, and the Prince, Finn Balor, for those prestigious World Tag Team titles, and that is going down at WrestleMania. I'll tell you what, the Judgment Day have been making a lot of claims over the last couple of months ever since becoming two-time World Tag Team Champions, being voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. Finn Balor and Damian Priest have claimed to be the greatest tag team in Monday Night Raw history, but one of the greatest tag teams of all time in the Usos would beg to differ. We will see who comes out on the other side of that war at WrestleMania, but tonight, the Judgment Day set the lock horns with Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, newcomers to Monday Night Raw. And a lot of momentum is riding on the line here in Greensville. And their opponents, accompanied by Ivy Knight, at a combined weight of 515 pounds, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. The stage couldn't be any bigger. When we get to WrestleMania and the World Tag Team titles are on the line, WrestleMania Saturday plays host as Finn Balor and Damian Priest defend the gold against Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. The Usos is, of course, ever since their return, a lot of momentum riding on their side, making their way through three rounds of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, turning away the New Day, turning away Pretty Deadly, and turning away the Street Profits eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber. But as for the Judgment Day, as we mentioned, two-time World Tag Team Champions. Spent the better part of 2023 waging war with the Brawling Brutes. We've seen them clash with the New Day on several occasions as well. Damian Priest and Finn Balor sat back and watched eight teams compete in that Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And it was the Usos that came out on the other side. But I'll tell you, one of the bright spots of that tournament was these two newcomers joining the Monday Night Raw roster and Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers. These two men won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic the last time it was hosted down in NXT. In 2022, they are former NXT Tag Team Champions as well. And if Finn Balor and Damian Priest aren't careful, the Creed brothers may be scoring the biggest win of their young careers here tonight. And you gotta wonder how that would affect the road to WrestleMania for the Judgment Day as the Creed brothers would obviously be looking for a World Tag Team Championship opportunity in the near future. Remains to be seen with the Creed brothers hot and heavy since the opening bell. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Finn Balor on the receiving end. Some heavy offense by Brutus right there. The big man, the strong boy, the brute if you will, of the Creeds all over the Prince is Damian Priest and Julius Creed. Going at our ringside, things breaking down between those two men momentarily. Yeah. Tell you what, these Creed brothers are tough, but Finn Balor and Damian Priest, as we mentioned, been in the ring with some of the best of them here on Monday Night Raw. Of course, kicked off their second reign as tag team champions in a tornado tag team matchup against the Brawling Brutes back at Armageddon in December and retained them just a few weeks later. The final roll of 2023 in that ladder matchup in the main event. 
Damian Priest. That lariat moments ago in the beatdown continuing, showing why the Judgment Day have taken a stranglehold of not just the tag team division, but damn near all of Monday Night Raw ever since their formation right after last year's WrestleMania. Finn Balor and Damian Priest have make, made a heavy case to become one of the greatest tag teams in Raw history. But I'll tell you, the final nail in that coffin may come at WrestleMania if they can turn away Jay and Jimmy Uso. They have been hot since their return, no doubt about it. The next time we see the Usos on Raw, I'm sure they're going to be looking to keep that momentum up. But you cannot deny Finn Balor and Damian Priest, like them or not. They've produced results inside and outside of the ring. Of course, the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley at ringside as well. See her in action later tonight as Finn Balor taking the fight to Brutus Creed. The Judgment Day have turned this match on its head in the early moments on Monday Night Raw. Brutus just trying to crawl to the opposite corner, get the fresh legs in this tag team match, but Damian Priest hot on his tail and slamming down Brutus, Brutus to the canvas. Damian Priest and Finn Balor. So many tricks up their sleeve. They know how to keep each other fresh, wear down their opponents. Talked about the matches with the Brawling Brutes. Of course, turned away the New Day at the Royal Rumble. It was one hell of a tag team matchup on that night. Judgment Day have been in the main event. They've been at the top of the card. They've succeeded all the way. My goodness. Brutus Creed. That's one way to get Damian Priest off you. Just chucking him to the other side of the squared circle. And a much needed tag to the ever agile and ever strong Julius Creed who sends Damian Priest for a double armed ride. The Creed brothers looking to make a comeback here, and Julius all kinds of fired up. Some great action on hand tonight on Monday Night Raw, including the woman at ringside, the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. She is set to go one-on-one -on -one later tonight against the goddess Alexa Bliss. Bliss back in action, first time in some time here on Raw. And she is certainly going to have her hands full with the Eradicator of the Judgment Day. That's coming up later tonight here in Greensville, South Carolina. Right now, Damian Priest just trying to create some separation between himself and Julius Creed. That's one way to do it, just tackle your opponent down to the canvas. Give him no room to breathe. And this could be all she wrote. A little south of heaven by Priest. Into the cover he goes. And it's Brutus breaking things up. And that could have been all she wrote that time, but Damian Priest... There I say, a rare mistake out of the arsenal of the Archer of Infamy, going for that cover in enemy territory. Nonetheless, the matchup may roll on, but Julius Creed certainly not thriving right now on the receiving end of punishment by Damian Priest. Julius is down after that South of Heaven and the tag made to Finn Balor, who is looking to seek and destroy an already weakened opponent. Talked about that matchup between Rhea Ripley and Alexa Bliss later tonight. What about the main event that we have on hand? The Royal Rumble match winner, the man who will fight Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Championship on WrestleMania Sunday. That is Kevin Owens. He will go one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, who was very busy last week here on Raw. And Raw emanated from South Beach in Miami, Florida. Teaming up with CM Punk, but it was all a ruse by Nakamura. Punk was a pawn in the King of Strong Styles game. Nakamura laying out CM Punk at the end of last week's Monday Night Occasion. And now Shinsuke Nakamura seemingly setting his sights on Kevin Owens tonight. And Julius Creed to focus on the action back inside of the ring, sending Damian Priest for an amusement park ride. Not able to get the cover because Finn Balor's heart is still beating. Judgment Day got their hands full with the Creed brothers here tonight. They cannot take these two young men lightly. As Julius coming off the apron, going for the drop kick. She's be coming off the ropes. Nobody home. Damian Priest off the reversal. Judgment Day showing why they're one of the greatest tag teams on Monday Night Raw. The World Tag Team Champions. But will they be able to get through the Usos when the World Tag Team titles are on the line? Saturday night, March the 2nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time at AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania. And Balor 
thought Julius Creed was going to be in the drop zone. However, it's Brutus coming in and again exploding. This time, it's Finn Balor on the receiving end. And again, a much-needed tag by the Creed brothers. Unfortunately, Brutus a little overzealous, and he's going to hand the momentum right back to Balor. The cover again in Julius Creed. Still got some spring in those ever-agile legs of his. I'll tell you what. Win, lose, or draw, the Creed brothers have been making some noise ever since joining Monday Night Raw. Remember, they turned away Joe Gacy and Karrion Cross in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. But Finn Balor looking to turn away the Creeds here tonight. Brutus in the drop zone. Luckily for him, Julius Creed again breaking things up. Finn Balor landing that coup de grace on Brutus Creed. And Julius might have prolonged this matchup, but I don't know how much Brutus still has left in the tank. Oh, wait a minute here. Julius is in a brawl at ringside with Damian. And Brutus Creed's all kinds of tied up, but there's Julius Creed. Also got Priest off of him. Off screen, and now Balor's gonna turn his sights to the illegal competitor. Delayed vertical, and down goes Julius. You know, one thing we discussed eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber is that the Usos were putting on a master class in tag team wrestling. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Brutus off the roll up here. Referee a little out of position, but he finally gets it. Balor kicks up. We talked about how the Usos were putting on a master class in tag team wrestling eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber. Balor and Priest trying to show their stuff here tonight in exchange. Missile drop kick. Balor shot out like a cannon. But Julius Creed, obviously a little bit slower to break things up after Balor dropped him a few moments ago. It is now or never for the Creeds to get back into this contest tonight. Titles may not be on the line, but opportunity certainly is, as is every time you step foot inside the squared circle. But a special occasion when Priest and Balor are on the opposite side of the ring. There's a tag made to Julius. Brutus down. Julius only has so much left in the tank, and Finn Balor is not looking to see a Creed brother come back. Back on top, another coup de grace, this time to Julius Creed. And it is academic at this point. The World Tag Team Champions, the Judgment Day, ever dominant in the tag team division. I'll tell you what, the Creed's gonna be a force to be reckoned with one day on Monday Night Raw. Key words are one day because right now, it is Judgment Day in the Monday Night Raw Tag Team Division. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. We'll see if Rhea Ripley follows in the success of Balor and Priest later tonight here on Raw. But Jay and Jimmy Uso better be careful because they are in for a fight. WrestleMania Saturday, March the 2nd, when they stand across the squared circle from the, from the Prince Finn Balor and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, who will leave the grandest stage with the World Tag Team Gold. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday night's main event. What twists and turns will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all. Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. But who will make their way to Saturday Night's Main Event? We'll have one of those answers when we hear a second bell because it is time for the number one contender's Intercontinental Championship Eliminator! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! 
Tommaso Ciampa has been on the cusp of championship gold for months here on Monday Night Raw. Whether it was the WWE Championship, now chasing the Intercontinental Championship, the Blackheart's destiny leads him back to a championship opportunity, and tonight could propel him all the way to the grandest stage of them all. But first things first, he's gonna get through the big, strong boy. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, I'll tell you what, Tyler Bates touts that British strong style. He's gonna need all of it to try to get through the ever tough Tommaso Ciampa here tonight in Greensville, South Carolina. Tyler Bates. You want to talk about seeking championship gold? Well, Bate was in there challenging LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship back when we were on international soils at Clash at the Castle in October. Tyler Bate all this time later could be looking for another leash on his career. Imagine if Tyler Bate can get through Tommaso Ciampa, get through either Carmelo Hayes or Sami Zayn at Saturday night's main event, and then make his way to AT&T Stadium. All remains to be seen. The winner of this matchup will be one of two superstars that will compete for the final number one contendership Saturday night, February the 17th in Atlanta at Saturday night's main event. Nonetheless, big fight feel here on Monday Night Raw. Each and every week as we get closer to WrestleMania, the blood pressure rises of every superstar in the locker room. Who is gonna take advantage of this opportunity? The Eliminator is on, Champa versus Bait. Should be a great matchup. Tommaso Ciampa hot out of the gate with the strikes. Tyler Bate, known to use that British strong style like we mentioned, which is full of technique inside of that ring and breaking down your opponent. And also a little bit of brawling in there. Tyler Bate, we've talked about it to no ends. He's got a little bit of everything in his arsenal. See if Tommaso Ciampa can outrun Tyler Bate here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Bate might have got caught. A little bit too much juking and jiving and Ciampa almost stole the victory there. Well, I would be remiss to say I'm sure there is a great deal of respect between these two superstars, but that goes out the window when a shot to go to WrestleMania begins to hang in the balance. Tyler Bay and Tommaso Ciampa, two men, as we mentioned, who have challenged for championship gold in recent months. Unfortunately, it has not gone their way. Now these two superstars, along with Carmelo Hayes as well as Sami Zayn, turn their sights to the Intercontinental Championship that is currently held by the defiant L.A. Knight. The megastar awaits his opponent for WrestleMania. Could very well be one of these two superstars. Next week on Raw, we'll see Melo, Zayn, one-on-one. -on -one. Winners of those two matches are on their way to State Farm Arena on the 17th. Saturday night's main event is gonna be a high-profile occasion. As Tyler Bate here looking to wear down Tommaso Ciampa. Submission hold, not usually something that we see superstars give up in, but it's certainly something that'll stretch out your opponent's well-being. It's certainly not favor as we get into later rounds in this matchup, and Tommaso Ciampa, great counter there. Ciampa's got the size advantage in this matchup. Tyler Bate, although the shorter, smaller of the two, may just have the strength. They don't call him the big, strong boy for nothing. Tyler Bate a few months ago, very well. Might have earned himself a WWE Championship opportunity. Nonetheless, these two superstars' path leads them to Monday Night Raw here tonight, and they are duking it out inside the squared circle for a spot to move on in this championship eliminator here. Tyler Bate loves to implore this reverse Boston. It has brought him success in the past. Tommaso Ciampa reeling in pain and smart by Tyler Bate to execute this submission maneuver away from the ropes. Tommaso Ciampa, however, able to pick the ankle, going for the discus lariat. Tyler Bate with other plans. Oh, man, Tommaso Ciampa eats the canvas. And Bate to advance to Atlanta, not just yet. Great combination maneuvers there by Tyler Bate, or shall I say really stacking the offense against the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa down on the outside. And Tyler Bate realizing he's got to stay on the offense while he's got Champa weakened. The reverse Boston definitely going to take a lot out of Champa. That elevated DDT going to do a number as well. And now throwing Tommaso Champa. Big suplex on the outside. We talked about the strength of Tyler Bate. And there he is displaying it here on Raw. 
Tommaso Ciampa's tough, and he's ever resilient, and he's a former Intercontinental Champion, but can he get through Tyler Bate tonight? I'll tell you, we talked about that British strong styler and a little bit of brawling in there, but Tommaso Ciampa ain't afraid to throw some fisticuffs, whether it's inside or outside the squared circle. Ciampa can be a dastardly SOB. We have seen him do some vile things inside and outside the ring. And Ciampa's mindset has been very clear over the last few months. And that is get championship gold around his waist. His path brings him tonight. Will tonight be the next step on Ciampa's road to WrestleMania? Discus Lariat might have knocked Bates headed to the fifth row. But Tyler Bate with the early kick out there. Great stuff so far between these two Raw superstars. I am sure Carmelo Hayes as well as Sami Zayn as well as the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight all have their eyes locked on this matchup. Trying to focus in on the arsenals of both of their men. Do some homework here tonight. One of these men will face the winner of Carmelo Hayes and Sami Zayn Saturday night, February the 17th, 5 p.m. Eastern time. At Saturday night's main event, and Tommaso Ciampa looking for that to be his golden ticket. A Project Ciampa delivered with full force. But unfortunately for the black cart, Goldie is that much farther away. A kick out by Tyler Bate. The Ciampa going to keep his foot on the gas pedal. On the middle ropes he goes. Elevated DDT. Tyler Bate had it scouted. Oh man, mean shot that time. And Bate, there's a little of that BSS, that British strong style. Breaking the limbs of Tommaso Ciampa and delivers a springboard. Now wait a minute, Bate could be going for the corkscrew, nobody home! Tommaso Ciampa, fairy tale ending and coming! But Tyler Bate did his homework and a beautiful reversal that time! Reversal for reversal, and there's another one as Ciampa delivers the vertical! Oh man, we have got a great matchup live and in living color here in Greensville, South Carolina. Champa and Tyler Bate did their homework on each other. Tyler Bate on roller skates and Tommaso Champa knocking him down. That high elevation lariat. <laughs> Tyler Bate down on the outside. But as we mentioned a few moments ago, Champa is keeping his foot on the gas pedal and he delivers that knee. And you notice he delivered it with the knee that is covered in the brace. Tyler Bate might have caught some of that steel that time. Fight getting taken to the outside. Champa sending Bate right to the barricade. I'll tell you what, in a brawling atmosphere outside of the ropes, Champa may just be the favorite. That was a mean boot to the face. We talked about how dastardly Tommaso Ciampa can be. He can be tough, he can be resilient, and he knows how to dish it out. Tyler Bates down, Tommaso Ciampa. In a rare situation here, seeing Ciampa go to the top. And this time he delivers a high elevation DDT. And that could be all she wrote on the road to WrestleMania. Not just yet, Tyler Bates still alive. Champa got what he hoped for that time. Up the ante, came off the top, delivered the DDT. However, Tyler Bate is still into this thing. Champa's going for another fairy tale ending. This time it delivers into the cover. But Tyler Bate is still alive. The number one contender's eliminator pushes forward. And Greensville, South Carolina on their feet tonight as the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, has still got life left in him. Creating a little separation there. Champa might have thrown his most best shot in his arsenal. And Tyler Bate trying to mount a comeback. Tommaso Champa delivered the fairy tale ending. It did not go his way. And Tyler Bate this time gets what he dreamt up. Sending Ciampa over the top rope. And what is Bate got to do to now get Tommaso Ciampa staring up at the lights? This matchup is reaching a boiling point. Both of these men look to secure their spot in the finals of this Eliminator at Saturday night's main event on the 17th of February. Oh, a nice reversal by Ciampa that time. 
All about creating that distance and getting Tyler Bate off of his tail. And oh no, big time knee on the outside of the ring as well. So Tyler Bate getting no cushion off that landing. Champa back inside the ring, just trying to take a moment to breathe as Tyler Bate was trying to rev up the engines. Champa with other plans, bringing Tyler Bate into the corner. Nobody home. Knee delivered. Tommaso Champa. Maybe seeing stars right now. A reversal that time. Goes behind. Champa going for the pinfall, but it's the rope break. Man, what a match. What's it going to take for one of these men to now gain the upper hand as we have seen a lot of reversals throughout this contest thus far? Both these men studied up on the playbooks. And Tyler Bate with that speed and agility on his side, outrunning Champa that time. And wait a minute. Tyler Driver, 97! That's gonna do it! Champa staring up at the stars, but Champa kicks out at 2.9. Tyler Bates going back to the top. Could be looking for the corkscrew once more, but Tommaso Champa once again out of the way. Kick to the gut. A second fairy tale ending. And Tommaso Ciampa is on his way to Saturday night's main event. What a matchup tonight here on Raw. Tyler Bate and Tommaso Ciampa scratching and clawing all the way to the finish line. But only one man can make their way to the finals of the number one contenders, Eliminator. And that man is going to be the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. Here is your winner. Well, nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. Tyler Bate fought till the very end, but now we turn towards next week. New Orleans, Louisiana, Smoothie King Center, Carmelo Hayes, Sami Zayn takes center stage. And one of these men will meet Tommaso Ciampa on Saturday night, February the 17th, in the finals of the number one contenders, Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. I want to take you back to last week on Monday Night Raw. Karrion Cross and Sheamus engulfed in a one-on-one -on -one matchup that unfortunately did not end to the liking of the Celtic Warrior. Karrion Cross snapped. After losing to Kevin Owens at the Elimination Chamber, Cross did not care about the win. He cared about sending a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room, and that's exactly what he did on Sheamus' behalf. The beatdown through the announce table with the steel chair, the steel steps as well. Sheamus getting sent to a local hospital after last week's Monday Night Raw. And now tonight, carrying Cross his running buddy, Joe Gacy finds himself set to wage war against one of the members of the Brawling Brutes, that being Ridge the Fridge Holland. Ridge Holland not taking kindly to the assault by carrying Cross last week. Holland threw out the challenge. Joe Gacy took the bait. These two heavyweights about to lock horns here on Monday Night Raw, and I got a feeling that everybody should get out of harm's way because Ridge Holland ain't just coming for a fight. He's coming for a payback tonight in Greensville, South Carolina. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. Well, I'll tell you what, Ridge, Holland, and Butch, usually a little bit more animated walking down the aisle, but Ridge looks focused here tonight. Eyes locked on Joe Gacy, and Holland's fired up. It is always fight night when the Brawling Brutes enter the room, but there is something different in the eyes of Ridge here tonight. Looking at Joe Gacy saying, you're running buddy and carrying cross, trying to take out my mentor and Sheamus. I'm coming for retribution off his behalf. 
I'll tell you, Bridge Holland, not somebody who we've seen in a lot of singles matches here on Monday Night Raw, but tonight could be an opportunity, not just for Retribution, but to break out on his own. All remains to be seen. I don't think that's really what's going through the mind of Holland, but nonetheless, one-on-one -on -one with Joe Gacy, and Ridge getting met with an elbow. Ridge better not be overzealous to get that retribution that we talked about. Or Joe Gacy, who could be so sinister inside and outside of the ring, I'll bite. Might just eat him alive tonight on Raw. Here we go, Gacy and Holland locking horns. The aftermath of the casualty that was the Celtic Warrior Sheamus seven nights ago. Ridge taking the head off Gacy right there, Aaron. He may not be carrying Cross, but I'm sure Ridge Holland is imagining he is in the ring with the Harbinger of Doom tonight, using Gacy as a proverbial puppet, telling Carrion Cross that your day is coming by hands of the Brawling Brutes. We talked about it last week, but there is a lot of history between Sheamus and Cross. They're two men who seemingly always find their way back to each other. Intertwined pass led to a one-on-one -on -one contest last week in Miami, and unfortunately Sheamus was just left not on good terms. Ridge Holland trying to do one good by his mentor tonight, the man who brought him the Monday Night Roll almost a year ago. Holland taking things to the outside, or I should say Gacy trying to create some distance, but Holland willing to meet him out there. Ridge sending Gacy right to those diamond-plated steel steps. Ridge Holland always up for a fight, but tonight a little bit different. He didn't come for a collar and elbow and a headlock. He came for a game of fisticuffs with the sinister Joe Gacy who gets sent right to the barricade. Ridge Holland better keep his ear on the referee. I don't know if Ridge is focusing on a win tonight or if he's got carrying Cross's mindset from a week ago, which is just hell bent on destruction. Not very many people are going to be able to send a man the size of Joe Gacy for that ride. And on the outside as well, that is just going to inflict more damage on Gacy, who gets sent right to the announce table. Referee's at a count of eight. We got to get this fight back inside the squared circle before we don't see a finish. There's a counter by Gacy. Gacy going to break the count. Ridge Holland on his tail and hanging up Gacy in the top rope. Close call there. Thought we were going to get another double count out. Joe Gacy, however, out for victory tonight. We're going to take advantage of a possibly blinded by Fury Ridge Holland and get a win in the column. All remains to be seen what is going to happen as Joe Gacy looks to turn this matchup on its head as Ridge has been the aggressor since the opening bell. Certainly a contrast of what we just saw inside of that ring moments ago. A incre incredible competition between two athletes and Tyler Bay and Tommaso Ciampa. This not so much. This is a matchup of war and destruction as Ridge once again sending Gacy for a ride. Ridge with his eyes locked on the sinister Gacy. And he is throwing him from pillar to post. Into the cover he goes. But Joe Gacy gets the shoulder up. Joe Gacy did not come to fall short in his pursuit of eliminating the Brawling Brutes from competition tonight. Ridge Holland, however, with a different mindset. Out to beat down Joe Gacy as he gets sent to the outside once again. I don't think Ridge Holland, again, as we mentioned, is looking to engage in collar and elbow tie-ups. Oh, wait a minute here. Ridge Holland has got those steel steps, the same steel steps that were cracked over the skull of the Celtic warrior Sheamus seven nights ago. Ridge may be saying, screw the victory. I want the revenge. Referee's calling for the bell. Gacy's going to win this matchup by disqualification, but I don't think Ridge Holland gives one single damn. He's got the steps again, and Joe Gacy, the proverbial puppet. He may not be carrying cross, but he's the next best thing. Holland is out for Joe Gacy's blood tonight, looking for a pound of flesh, and the announce table's coming apart. Here comes the carnage. Joe Gacy and Karrion Cross may rue the day that they tried to send a message using the Celtic warrior Sheamus. 
Ridge Holland did not come to mince words tonight, and Gacy's feeling the brunt of it. Joe Gacy may be about to suffer the same fate as Sheamus seven nights ago. Through the announce table, by hands of one strong brawling brute. Message sent to Gacy as well as Karrion Cross. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday night's main event. What twists and turns will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all. Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. We are back live in Greensville, South Carolina for Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania. And the goddess, Alexa Bliss, back in action, but she is certainly Got her hands full. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Eradicator. The nightmare of the Judgment Day and the WWE Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley commands respect, and if not, she will take it forcefully. Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, what has been on the mind of Rhea Ripley, we assume would be the events of the Elimination Chamber eight nights ago. Rhea retaining her gold against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Very interesting contest in the reign of the Nightmare so far. But it is what happened after the matchup that we have to assume has been weighing on the conscience of the WWE Women's Champion. Liv Morgan returning for the first time since the Royal Rumble and laying out Rhea in the middle of Lone Depot Park. Of course, back at the Royal Rumble on January the 7th, Rhea Ripley with her most dominant performance in her championship reign to date, running over Liv Morgan and certainly solidifying her spot at the top of Monday Night Raw. Clearly that is a loss that has not sat in well with Liv. She bounced back last week, defeating Blair Davenport. But has Liv Morgan done enough to earn another championship opportunity against the woman she fought back at the Royal Rumble in January? Or oh, remains to be seen what is gonna be the next chapter for Liv Morgan here on Monday Night Raw. But tonight, a very close personal friend of Liv, that being Alexa Bliss, tries her hand at the Nightmare of the Judgment Day. Of course, Rhea Ripley has had that X Factor as of late. Dominic Mysterio seemingly joining the ranks of the Judgment Day. We've yet to see him compete in the black and purple colors, but aligning himself with the Nightmare and Rhea Ripley watching her back as if she needed it. Rhea, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year as voted by you, the fans. And whether you like Rhea or not, she has been dominant. She has had a stranglehold on the women's division on Monday Night Raw ever since September. Where she won that Women's Money in the Bank briefcase last summer, cashed it in successfully when the WWE Women's Championship became the sole property of Monday Night Raw. Rhea has ran over the competition each and every week. And Alexa Bliss may be finding out what I'm sure she has heard time and time again, that you do not step to the nightmare if you are not ready to be eradicated. Rhea Ripley has turned away the challenges of the man Becky Lynch not once but twice. One of those matches coming in Madison Square Garden back at Survivor Series in November. She has defeated Alba Fire, Liv Morgan as we mentioned, Asuka back at the Elimination Chamber. And those are just the championship victories that Rhea Ripley has tallied up. She has ran forcefully over the women's division for months. And Alexa Bliss is finding out exactly why. 
You'd be remiss to get momentum on your side in a matchup against the ever-dominating women's champion of the Judgment Day. Into the cover. Gonna be a short night of work, not just yet. At the top of the hour, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, your World Tag Team Champions, successful in their pursuit of victory here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley looking to follow suit as Alexa Bliss on the outside. And it has gotta be a scary sight when you're on the other end of a flying nightmare, my goodness! We have seen Rhea take it to the air when she deems necessary. And I guess tonight, mission is to send a message to possibly the entire women's division, but to also Liv Morgan. Looking to stop the heart out of the goddess here on Monday Night Raw. Alexa Bliss getting her heart pounded out by Rhea Ripley and Rhea laughing at her abilities. Alexa just trying to create some distance. She's in for the fight of her life here on Monday Night Raw. And obviously if, it, if Alexa can somehow survive this, you gotta believe Bliss is gonna be in the running for a future women's championship opportunity. Easier said than done. Alexa able to take down the champion momentarily. Rhea Ripley looking up at the lights. Alexa looking to keep momentum on her side as the comeback may be commencing here in Greensville as she takes down Rhea with the double boots. Here she goes again. Split the difference. Nice arm drag. Rhea showing frustration as Alexa Bliss is starting to roll. Into the cover again, and it's only a one. You're lucky if you get a two against somebody like Rhea Ripley. Alexa trying to throw whatever shot she can, but Rhea Ripley, so many ways to beat you inside of that ring and so many ways to tear you down. Kick to the gut, and Rhea with a forceful DDT, very similar to the one that Alexa Bliss likes to implore. Rhea Ripley did not come to play games here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley continues to add tools to her arsenal. She tapped out Asuka back at the Elimination Chamber. The DDT to Alexa Bliss tonight. Rhea continues to find a way to win. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. And the interesting thing is as Rhea Ripley adds more tools to her arsenal, she becomes even more difficult to beat. Rhea is on top of her game. The stranglehold on the women's division continues. Let us take you back to how we kicked off last week's Monday Night Raw, an interruption as Solo Sokoa and Bobby Lashley brawled their way out into the arena and at the top of the stage. Unfortunately, disaster came over the almighty as the street champ has been waiting to issue this beatdown for God knows how long. Solo Sokoa and Lashley's issues date all the way back to the month of October and they are still waiting for unsettled business. Nonetheless, Solo Sokoa issuing this beat down on the almighty Bobby Lashley, the street champ, showing why he earned that title as he tossed Lashley off the stage on to the concrete floor. And unfortunately for Bobby Lashley, the disaster did not end there. Solo Sokoa came to sideline Lashley. And as you see, this spinning solo led to the events that we can now confirm. Coming up at WrestleMania, the street champ Solo Sokoa looks to put the almighty Bobby Lashley behind him for good. These two heavyweights will meet in a no-holds-barred matchup. From October all the way to March, Lashley and Solo have waged war. On WrestleMania Sunday, they settle the score in no-holds-barred. What about next week here on Monday Night Raw? The number one contender eliminator for the Intercontinental Championship continues. Carmelo Hayes takes on Sami Zayn. The winner meets Tommaso Ciampa at Saturday night's 
main event. And who will challenge Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania? We find out in the Fatal Five Way next week. Roxanne Perez, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, the man Becky Lynch, and the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Five women enter. One will leave with the golden opportunity to challenge for gold at WrestleMania. Well, that is then, and this is now, and it is main event time in Greensville, South Carolina. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, came the Raw with a point to prove last week. And we're gonna take a look at the events of seven nights ago momentarily. Nakamura makes his way down the aisle for this main event affair. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. CM Punk needed a tag team partner to take on the Trick Mellow Gang. He chose the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And it worked out in CM Punk's favor. The go to sleep to Trick Williams led to victory seven nights ago in the Raw main event. But just as CM Punk and Nakamura were soaking in the glory of that victory, the tides changed for the best in the world. Struck by a Kinshasa from Shinsuke Nakamura. Not once, not twice, but three times, leaving CM Punk knocked out cold in the middle of the squared circle. CM Punk thought he had a tag team partner, but turns out Punk was just a pawn in the King of Strong Styles game. Tonight, Nakamura turns his sights to the number one contender for the WWE Championship on WrestleMania Sunday, the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens. And his opponent from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. Kevin Owens survived a war with Karrion Cross eight nights ago. Seth Rollins retained his WWE Championship against the monster Braun Strowman. And all roads lead to Rollins versus Owens. One on one, Sunday night, March the 3rd, live at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens has been on a career resurgence. Ever since last fall, it seemed as Owens hit rock bottom and was scratching and clawing his way back to the top. It led him to winning the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. It propelled him to getting past Karrion Cross and burying those ghosts of the past. And now Kar Kevin, Ke Kevin Owens, excuse us, turns his sights to Seth Rollins and the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But first on the list is to get through the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura tonight, who is obviously not looking to be a stepping stone in Owen's road to WrestleMania. Nakamura came to Raw last week with a mission statement, taking out the best in the world, CM Punk, for one reason or another, yet to be pronounced by Nakamura, if you will. But nonetheless, the message was loud and clear. Nakamura obviously taking issue with the best in the world. Shinsuke Nakamura was the only man left standing seven nights ago. Nakamura's not careful. He may be the one staring up at the lights here tonight. These are two men who are clearly on a collision course for WrestleMania. Kevin Owens guaranteed. And as Owens approaches the biggest match of his career, a veteran of the squared circle, but the WrestleMania main event for the WWE Championship like no other. Kevin Owens is not looking to see his momentum derailed on the road to Dallas, Texas, but Nakamura looking to write a different story. It's been a great night of action here in Greensville, South Carolina. We thank you for joining us on Monday Night Raw. What about the action coming your way? Next week, we're gonna see a five-woman fatal five-way matchup. Winner's gonna go on to fight the Nightmare Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania. The man, Becky Lynch. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Liv Morgan, who has taken issue with Rhea Ripley. The Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. The Prodigy, Roxanne Perez. One of those women looks to punch their golden ticket to the show of shows. Of course, earlier tonight, we saw Tommaso Ciampa and Tyler Bate duke it out inside of that ring. A phenomenal contest between those two men. But now Tommaso Ciampa awaits his opponent in the finals of the Eliminator. Next week, Carmelo Hayes, one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn. 
Both of them men, both of those men, excuse me, look to make their way to Saturday night's main event and compete against Tommaso Ciampa for the number one contendership to the Intercontinental title. All that is coming your way next week. We still got action on our hands live tonight in Greensville as Nakamura and Kevin Owens throwing some live rounds in your main event. And I'll tell you, every Monday Night Raw superstar laser focused on getting their name on the marquee. Everybody's fighting for their lives inside of that ring as the end of the season approaches and WrestleMania is right around the corner. You see guys like Shinsuke Nakamura maybe biting off more than they can chew and just in hopes of making their way to the grandest stage of them all. There's one thing we know about CM Punk is he is not going to take that attack from Nakamura lying down. Punk always willing to put up a fight inside of that ring. But Nakamura, sometime very strategic. Dare I say always strategic, always with a plan. Nakamura knew what he was doing last week. Starting that war with CM Punk. All remains to be seen who is going to be the one getting the final laugh. Maybe no laughing matter here tonight if Kevin Owens has his way. Big time kick to the jaw. Shinsuke Nakamura goes down. Nakamura with the kick out, but Owens one step closer to victory here tonight. Kevin Owens has turned away some of Monday Night Raw's best in recent months. We have seen him square off with Solo Sokoa, carrying Cross. Remember Kevin Owens' performance at Survivor Series, the 3-1 comeback in the traditional Survivor Series elimination match that really kicked off those issues with the Harbinger of Doom. Owens made his way into the Royal Rumble, was able to outlast the rest of the field and win the whole damn matchup, proclaiming his spot in the main event of WrestleMania. However, Shinsuke Nakamura looking to find his way to the show of shows. Nakamura came up short in the Royal Rumble matchup. Nakamura came up short in that Battle Royal against Braun Strowman on the way to the Elimination Chamber. Nakamura could be looking for any last ditch effort to get to the show of shows. Went for the King Shasta, nobody home. Kevin Owens now swinging lefts and rights. Trying to avoid a Nakamura comeback in the middle of this main event. Nakamura getting thrown right over the top rope. Momentum sending the King of Strong Style for a ride. Kevin Owens is fired up. Live in Greensville, South Carolina. Wait a minute. The WWE Champion, Seth Rollins, making his way through the audience. Owens from behind, getting knocked down by Seth Rollins. Well, Kevin Owens, remember, laid out Rollins with a stunner when he proclaimed he was coming for the WWE Championship. Now that Rollins has got Strowman behind him, it looks like he's out for a measure of revenge. Oh, no. You heard the bell. This match is done and over with. Kevin Owens victorious by disqualification, but not by the sight of it. A curb stomp by the WWE Champion. Rollins sending a message on the road to WrestleMania. Seth Rollins proclaiming that the WWE Championship will remain with the visionary when we get to the grandest stage of them all. Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.